If you're selling digital products like online courses or consulting calls using WooCommerce, then more often than not, you need to send different emails to your customers based on the products they purchase from your WooCommerce store. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. In today's example, I have three online courses that I've created as products in WooCommerce, and we're gonna send different emails from WooCommerce based on the course that they purchase in our store. The examples today are using digital products, but if you're selling physical products as well, the same logic applies so you can still watch this tutorial. With that said, let's get into it. When somebody adds one of the courses into their cart and then goes to the checkout page, puts in their details, and then finally submits their order, they land on our WooCommerce thank you page. And behind the scenes, they're sent an email that looks like this. This is the default WooCommerce order receipt email that all of your customers get when they make an order in your store. Let's customize this order receipt email so it looks more modern and clean. And then we'll go ahead and set up some different automations to send different emails based on the product that our customers have purchased. In our dashboard, we'll go to WooCommerce and settings. And then under emails, I'll find the processing order email, which if we hover is the order notification sent to customers. And then I'll go to manage and I will click this to disable this email and then click save changes. By doing this, we've disabled this default order receipt email being sent out by WooCommerce. Next, go to plugins and add new plugin. And in the top right, search for funnel kit automations and install and activate this plugin here. Recover WooCommerce cart abandonment by funnel kit. I already have this installed and activated as you can see in my plugins. There is a pro version. I'll show you what those features unlock in a second. With funnel kit automations installed, go to funnel kit automations and then to automations and then click create automation. Then click start from scratch, name your automation and click create. Then let's trigger this automation to start when somebody places an order in our store. I'll click done. Then click back into the event trigger and we want this to run when the order is in processing status when it's created. That means we've taken payment. And we want this to run on any product because it's gonna be the default global order receipt email that is sent out. And we want this to run multiple times because customers can purchase multiple times and enter this automation multiple times for each order. I'll click save. Next, let's add an action where we send an email and click done. I'll give the email a subject line and then down here is where we design our email. By default with the free version of Funnel Kit Automations, you can design using the rich text editor. You can insert raw HTML, but ideally I would highly recommend you use the drag and drop email builder. And as you can see, it has the crown icon indicating that this is a pro feature. In the description below this video, there's a link that you can click to go to the Funnel Kit website to learn more about the other pro features. I'll go ahead and activate the pro version. And now I have access to the visual builder. I'll click edit and I could start with a blank page and design my email entirely. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and go to e-commerce and scroll down to use one of the pre-made designs. I'll click to preview this one here. And I quite like this one. It's nice and clean and it also offers a discount code on their next purchase. So here I'll go ahead and apply my global styles, which adds my branding from my website and I'll click import template. Then where it says, hey, John, I will replace this with a merge tag and it will be the billing first name. And we get that from when they completed their order. And then under that, we output their order details. Lastly, up here, because we're selling digital products, I'm going to update this to say we have successfully received your order and then I'll say if you purchased one of our online courses or a consulting call, you will receive further instructions in a separate email within a couple of minutes. I'll go ahead and click save and then I'll exit out of this. Down here, we want to mark this email as transactional so it has the best chance of going directly into their inbox and then I'll click save and close. Then I'll activate the automation so it's live in our store. And now if I go ahead and purchase one of our course products, we go to our thank you page. Our automation lets us know that one person has entered our automation and completed this step here. And they've completed this step down here. And then they've ended and exited the automation. And if I click here, I can see that that was me. 
And here's that email in my inbox looking exactly as we designed it in the email builder. When a customer purchases multiple products in the same order, in this case, two of my online courses, and they place their order, the order receipt email would look like this, where it lists both of those products with the total. The purpose of this email is to let your customers know what they purchased in your store and for how much. That's why we send this out to everyone that purchases from your store. When customers spend money in your store, you don't just wanna go radio silent and not give them any further information. What you wanna do is then send them subsequent emails related to the products that they've just purchased. And that's what we're gonna do just now. And this relates to this sentence here where we let them know they'll receive further instructions in a separate email after their order receipt email. To set that up, we'll go to Funnel Kit Automations and then Automations. And then I'll click Create Automation and then click start from scratch. We're gonna use this automation to deliver details for people who purchase our course two. So I'll name my automation course two post purchase and click create. Then we'll select an event that causes somebody to enter this automation and I'll go to WooCommerce and under orders, we used order created before, but now I'm gonna select order created per product. I'll select that and click done. And we want this to happen when the order is in processing status, which occurs when we take payment. And because this is a digital product, you might also want to select completed here as well. Then here, the order contains any product. We will change this to specific products. And here I'll search for course two and I'll select it. Then here I'm going to select multiple times so that users can enter this automation multiple times. Now with online courses, you don't want people to buy the same course multiple times, but that restriction where they can only buy a course once would be something that you set up on the WooCommerce product level. So I'm just gonna select multiple times here to be safe and click save. Next, once they purchase course two, we will add an action to send an email and click done. We'll give the email a subject line saying your access to course two is inside and then I'll click edit to launch the email builder. We could design from scratch, but to speed things up, I will just select one of the pre-made designs. So maybe this one here, I'll click preview and I'll apply my global styles and then click import template. Then I'll just quickly go ahead and update the email content. I'm just gonna fast forward through this because it's exactly like a text editor like Google Docs. You basically just update the text here. You could type something here. Then over on the left, you have your blocks and you drag them from the left over on to the right like this. That was a button block. You have an image block where you can select things from your media library. So I could select that and insert that here. Maybe that's a thumbnail for the online course. Then you have your dividers. All the blocks that you need to design modern emails are all in here. So I very quickly just updated the email content here. You could do a much better job here. But basically I just said how to access course two, how to access the community for course two, and you could keep going with different sections here related to course two. But for today's demonstration, I'll just click save and then I'll return to our automation. Then I'll click save and close. And if you wanted to, you could send further emails over the next couple of days related to course two. To do that, all you will need to do is click the plus sign here and then add a delay and maybe here we set it for one day and then click save. And after one day, we would go ahead and send a, another email. So here I would go send email and click done. Or alternatively, we could just remove that and we could use this as a starting point by going up to here and going copy and then down here clicking to paste it down there. And we could repeat that process. We could add a second delay here and this could wait another day and then we'll click save. And after that, we could go ahead and copy this and then paste that down there. Then we just update this email's content here, this email's content there. And now you have a fully fleshed out drip campaign related to somebody purchasing course two. All that's left to do is click to activate the automation and now this is live. If we exit out of this, we could repeat the process for course three. We could come over to here and click duplicate and then click into here and we'll rename this to course three post purchase and then we'll click the event trigger and then here when they purchase specific products, we'll update this to course three. So I'll select it there and click save 
And then we just need to go through and update the email content here. So course three is inside. We'd go through there and we'll just continue as we do here. Knowing how to set up your automations to send emails based on the products that your customers buy from your store is just one half of this equation. The other half is getting into the email builder and knowing exactly how to use it to design modern emails that your customers are going to love. And to help you with that, I put together this video here where I show you everything that you need to know to get up and running with the email builder as soon as possible. So definitely watch this video next.